So there's been a, a bunch of attempts from string theory to all, all kinds of attempts at trying to solve quantum gravity or basically come up with a theory for quantum gravity. There's a lot of uh, complexities to this. One, for experimental validation, you have to observe effects that are very difficult to uh, measure. So you have to build, like, that's like an engineering challenge. And then there's the theory challenge, which is like, it seems very difficult to connect the laws of gravity to quantum mechanics. Do you have a hope or are we hopelessly stuck? Well, I have to have to have a hope. I mean, it's in some sense, but I devote at least part of my professional life toward trying to make progress on. I'm glad you used the phrase quantum gravity. I'm not a great fan of the theory of everything phrase because it does make other scientists feel like if they're not working on this, what are they working on? Man, it's like, you know, there's not much left when you're talking about theory of everything. Biology but, is just small details. Yeah, so right, exactly. Out. <laughs> yeah, so, so it is really trying to put gravity and quantum mechanics together. And uh, since I was uh, a college kid, I was uh, deeply fascinated with gravity. And as I learned quantum mechanics, the, the notion of physicists being stumped on trying to blend them together. How could one not get fired up about maybe contributing something to that journey? And so we've been on this, you know, I've been on this for 30 years since I was a student. We, we have made progress. We do have ideas. You mentioned string theory is one possible scenario. It's not stuck. String theory is a vibrant field of research that is making incredible progress, but we've not made progress on this issue of experimental verification, validation, which as you know, it is a vital part of the story. So I would have hoped that by now, we would have made contact with observation. If you would have interviewed me back in the 80s, when I was you know, a wild, bright-eyed kid trying to make headway, working 18 hours a day and this sort of stuff, I would have said, yeah, by, by 2021, yeah, we're gonna know whether it's right or wrong, we'll have made contact. I would have said, look, there may be certain mathematical puzzles that we've yet to work out, but we'll know enough to make contact with experiment. That has not happened. On the other hand, if you would have interviewed me back then and asked me, will we be able to talk about detailed qualities of black holes and understand them at the, uh, the level of detail that we actually, I, I would have said, no, I, I don't think that we're going to be able to do that. Will we have a, uh, an exact formulation of string theory in certain circumstances? No, I don't think we're going to have that. And yet we do. Mm. So it's just to say you don't know where the progress is going to happen. But yes, I do hold out hope that maybe before I move on, to wherever, I don't think there is an after, but I, I, I would love before I leave this earth to, to know the answer. But, you know, science and the universe, it's not about pleasing any individual. It is what it is. And so um, we just press onward and we'll see where it goes.